Cheese. So, nandito na naman tayo sa panibagong episode na ang aking YouTube channel. At ngayon, makakasama natin si Ma'am Shibeng. Hello! So, kamusta ka naman, Ma'am Shibeng? Uh, so, kamusta ako? So, ayun nga, kagagaling ko lang sa isang vacation nung last week sa New York. And then, yung anak ko kasi, gusto niya kasi na makapunta dun sa Museum of the Modern Arts sa New York. Gusto niya makita mga paintings dun, mga sikat na mga painter. So, ayun nga, isa dun sa mga napansin kong painting yung kay Vincent Van Gogh, Ma'am Shee. Nakita mo ba sa IG story ni Cassie yun? Oo, oh, nakita ko nga. At napakaganda nga nun, Ma'am Shee. Oo nga. Ang ganda nga. Ang ganda niya nga talaga. Tapos parang, ang unique nung pagkakapaint niya. So, bakit nga ba tayo pinag Bakit nga ba tayo nag-uusap about dyan sa painting na yung Ma'am Shee? Ano bang ano ng episode natin mo ngayon? So, ngayon, yung vlog ko ay isang educational vlog. He, um, kung ang mga vlog, madalas kung saan-saan na lang patungkol. Oh, Pero ngayon, um, gawin natin mas makabuluhan. Dahil marami na ngayon mga nausong iba't ibang art, alamin naman natin yung mga contemporary arts at matuto tayong i-appreciate to. So, ano nga ba yung art na yun, Ma'am Shea? As alamin pa natin sa vlog na to. Ayan na nga, Ma'am Shea. mag start na tayo. Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Shadows on the hills The Star Night is an oil on canvas by the Dutch post-impressionist painter Vincent van Gogh. Painted in June 1889, it depicts the view from the east-facing window of his asylum room at St. Remy de Province, just before sunrise with the addition of an idealized village. It has been in the permanent collection of the Museum of Modern Art in New York City since 1941, acquired through the Lily P. Bliss bequest. Regarded as among Van Gogh's finest works, the Starry Night is one of the most recognized paintings in the history of Western culture. Mention Vincent Van Gogh and one of the first things likely to come to many people's minds is the fact that he cut off his own ear. This dark act committed in 1888 marked the beginning of the Depression that would plug him until the end of his life. But to know Van Gogh is to get past the caricature of the tortured, misunderstood artist and to become acquainted instead with the hard-working, deeply religious, and difficult man. Van Gogh found his place in art and produced emotional, visually arresting paintings over the course of a career that lasted only a decade. Largely self-taught, Van Gogh produced more than 2,000 oil paintings, watercolors, drawings, and sketches which became in demand only after his death. He also wrote scores of letters, especially to his brother Theo, in which he worked out his thoughts about art. Always continue walking a lot and loving nature, for that's the real way to learn to understand art better and better, he wrote in 1874. Painters understand nature and love it and teach us to see. It was nature and the people living closely to it that first steered Van Gogh's artistic inclinations. In this, he was not alone. Landscapes remained a popular subject in late 19th century art. Driven in part by their dissatisfaction with the modern city, many artists sought out places resembling earthly paradises where they could observe nature firsthand, feeding its psychological and spiritual resonances into their work. Van Gogh was particularly taken with the peasant Ciso working the countryside. His early compositions featured portraits of Dutch peasants and rural landscapes rendered in dark, moody tones. In 1886, Van Gogh moved to Paris, where he encountered the works of the Impressionist and Neo-Impressionist and the pointillist compositions of Gorge Surat. Inspired by this artist's harmonious matching of colors, shorter brush strokes, and liberal use of paint, he brightened his own palette and loosened his brushwork, emphasizing the physical application of paint on the canvas. 
The style he developed in Paris and carried through the end of his life became known as Post-Impressionism, a term encompassing works made by artists unified by the interest in expressing their emotional and psychological responses to the world through bold colors and expressive, often symbolic, images. In a letter to his sister, Willemann, touching upon the mind and temperament of artists, Van Gogh once wrote that he was very sensitive to color and its particular language, its effects of complementary contrast harmony. By 1888, Van Gogh had returned to the French countryside, where he would remain until his death. There, close once again to the peasants who had inspired him early on, he concentrated on painting landscapes, portraits of himself and others, domestic interiors, and still lives full of personal symbolism. Imagination and Observation in the Star Night this morning, I saw the countryside from a window a long time before sunrise, with nothing but the morning star, which looked very big, wrote Van Gogh to his brother Theo, describing his inspiration for one of his best-known paintings, The Star Night, in 1889. The window to which he refers was in the St. Paul Asylum in St. Remy in southern France, where he sought respite from his emotional suffering while continuing to make art. This mid-scale oil on canvas painting is dominated by a moon and star-filled night sky. It takes up three quarters of the picture plane and appears turbulent, even agitated with intensely swirling patterns that seem to roll across its surface like waves. It is packed with bright orbs including the crescent moon to the far right and Venus the morning star to the left of center, surrounded by concentric circles of radiant white and yellow light. Beneath this expressive sky sits a hushed village of humble houses surrounding a church whose steeple rises sharply above the undulating blue-black mountains in the background. A cypress tree sits at the foreground of this night scene. Flame-like, it reaches almost to the top of the edge of the canvas, serving as a visual link between land and sky. Considered symbolically, the cypress could be seen as a bridge between life, as represented by the earth and death, as represented by the sky, commonly associated with heaven. Cypresses were also regarded as trees of the graveyard and mourning, but the sight of the stars always makes me dream. Van Gogh once wrote, Why I say to myself should be the spots of light in the firmament be less accessible to us than the black spots of the map of France? Just as we take the train to go to the Rasakan or Ruin, we take death to go to a star. The Star Night is based on Van Gogh's direct observations as well as his imagination, memories, and emotions. The steeple of the church, for example, resembles those common in his native Holland, not in France. The whirling forms in the sky, on the other hand, much published astronomical observations of clouds of dust and gas known as nebulae, at once balanced and expressive composition is structured by his ordered placement of the cypress, steeple, and central nebulae, while his countless short brush strokes and thickly applied paint set its surface in rolling motion. Such a combination of visual contrast was generated by an artist who found beauty and interest in the night, which for him was much more alive and richly colored than the day. na kung saan nag-school sila Mavi and Cassie. So, kung natatandaan nyo yung uh, last episode ni Mom Shi Olay is finiture namin yung painting ni Vincent Van Gogh. So, ngayon, uh, i-interviewin natin sila about dun sa mga recommendations nila or mga saloobin nila nga dun sa painting na yun. Hingian natin sila ng mga 
view regarding dun sa painting na yun. Kung ano yung mga isasuggest pa nila or yung mga napansin nila. So, ito na nga. Pupunta na tayo sa room ng ating anak. So, ano ba yung masasabi nila Mavi at Cassie dun sa video recommendation nung last episode natin? Abangan natin yan. So, ito na nga. Huwag natin kung na tayo magpaligoy-ligoy pa. Hello, I'm Mavi. Ako ako na si Cassie. Actually, yung hindi nga natin ipang kadarating pala si Manny dito sa school natin. Oo nga, hindi talaga ako nag-virtual. Kaya yun, nagulat kasi. So, ang masasabi ko lang sa Stanley Knight, astig talaga siya. The picture, the painting itself is so amazing. And, talaga nakakabilib. So, sinasabi ng iba na failure ito dahil malaki mga stars tsaka failure ito dahil nasa mental hospital siya nang ginawa nito. Oo nga, makita nga sa kanyang painting yun, ano? Lalo na yung lalo yung style na ng pag-paint. Lalo na yung mga makikita ko yung ganito mag- ganun yung ano yung paint. Tapos lalo na yung team niya ng anong teacher. Magalang pita hindi na yung ganda ng mga ating paint. So, so, Ako mami, I will give Vincent Van Gogh 5 stars sa rating niya. Kasi I, I, I admire him so much because I also paint, I also do my artwork. So, in style na is time, baka I will give him 5 stars. So, ikaw naman, Cassie, ano yung favorite mo dun sa rating? Para sa akin naman, bibigyan siya ng force mark. Kasi nga, kasi may nangyari, yung magbibigyan ng kulay, parang din siya yung kaya din sa mga tao ngayon. Ano yung mga records niya? So, ayun nga mga Mamsies. So, nakuha na natin ng recommendation and rating sila Mavi and Cassie. So, Mamsie Olay, okay na ba yan? So, ayun na po. Bye! Grabe pala Mamsie, no? Sa isang painting na yun, napakaraming meaning. Tapos, Um, napaka-tragic ng pagkakagawa. Oo nga ma'am, si Tumpa ka dyan. Biruin mo, hindi siya ano, napaka-unusual nung pagkakapaint. Unlike dun sa mga ibang painters na nagpapaint lang, ganun, inspired sila. Kay Vincent Van Gogh, daming mga pinagdaanan bago niya i-paint yun. Daming story behind those. Oo nga. Kung ako kasi, personally, kunwari makakakita ako ng art, ma-attract ako sa ganda niya. Pero, iba pala pag nalaman mo yung story behind that painting. Oo, maganda pa din talaga yung explanation. Kahit yung mga abstract, nagugustan talaga siya ng mga ibang mga ibang mga tao. Dahil nga dun sa explanation na din. Oo. So, sa ngayon, ayan muna ang ating vlog. So, magpapasalamat tayo sa ating guest, Ma'am Shibeng. Oh, Thank ano you. Sana sa susunod ulit. Sasamahan mo ako. So, dito na matatapos ang ating vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Um, pwede rin kayong mag-iwan ng comments below. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Sana madami kayo na pulot. Pero...